Hello and welcome to my channel Zero to Siva. Now I'm going to start one more course in my channel called as Docker. This is not going to be a regular Docker course. You might have seen a lot of tutorials or courses on Docker. This is going to be a different course. How? Actually, I'm a person. I feel that if your basics are strong and if you start thinking in a right direction, then everything will be very easy. So the way you understand about a topic, the way you think about a topic is very important. So when I started learning Docker, I learned basics of Docker and I started writing commands and I used to create containers using Docker. But I always used to wonder what is happening behind the scenes. If I want to create my own container, how I would do so? I was actually doing a lot of research and somehow I found a lot of details. So I'm going to share everything with you. Now what? I'll start from basics of virtualization. Actually, if you are starting your journey to cloud, you need to understand about virtualization first clearly. If you want to make your career on cloud, this is the first step. Actually, I hope you know clouds are going to the going to be the future. Whatever cloud you are going to learn, these are the fundamentals. You need to understand about virtualization, containerization, etc. And if you want to create your own containers, how would you actually go ahead and create? So that's where I start. So I will start with fundamentals of virtualization containers and I'll create my own container actually. Then I'll say, hey, Docker is a tool in which they have already done all this. By just writing some simple commands, you're going to create a container using Docker without you doing all the low level work. So after this course, you'll be able to clearly visualize what is happening behind the scenes. And then you start working with Docker. Actually, uh, you can just write, learn some commands and start working with Docker. But I feel that it is not the right way to learn. So learn the fundamentals. Understand how you would create your own containers. Then use Docker. Then your confidence levels will increase. Then after this Docker course, if I get good response from you, if number of followers are increasing and based on your responses, I actually wanted to create my next course, Kubernetes. Actually, many tutorials just say, use this command, Kubernetes will work, Docker will work. That is not the way I'm going to teach. I'm going to teach, suppose if you want to, create your own thing like Kubernetes. What are the concepts behind it? How it actually internally works? See, I know you'll be spending a lot of time on clouds, Docker, Kubernetes in future. Spending initial time to understand the internals will help you a lot. This is what makes a difference between a normal uh, developer or software engineer and an architect. So if you want to become a good architect or a good developer or a good software engineer, the fundamentals are very, very, very important. So even though you know Docker, the learning whatever you get will be huge. You'll start visualizing Docker in a different way. OK, so without wasting any further time, let us get started. Please subscribe to my channel and share this course or information about my channel to your friends. If I get good encourage, encouragement from you, I will create much more courses. Thank you for watching. From next video, let us get started with the course. See the description to understand. Uh, see the description to see the GitHub link where I have uploaded my course related documents. OK, see you in the course.